is real. You know, hey, you know I can't start no interview without getting my hair brushed. Really, nigga? The people on this list are either hated for no reason, their personality, their actions, or because they are simply a piece of shit. It's more nerve-wracking to me to hear talking to a rap piece of shit like oh, you. come on, like... Here's a list I have compiled from everyone's suggestions of the most hated people in boxing. CJ Ross scores it. 115-113 for Bradley. And new WBO welterweight champion of the world, the Desert Storm. I don't think we're blind. I think Harold Letterman is the best scorer alive. And I think that is a terrible, bogus decision. Mayweather has defeated him, winning every round of this fight. looks like and he did it in entertaining fashion 120 to 108 we have a majority decision to hear the score totals judge at ringside cj ross scores about 114 to 114 even a draw Overruled by judges Dave Moretti, who scores about 116 to 112. Wow, I had a shutout totally. Dave, you agree with me. I think most people are going to agree with us. The judges, I don't know what possible round that the kid would have won. And C.J. Ross had it 114-114. I can't figure it around that uh, possibly the Canelo could have won. Can't figure it out. Can't find six. Well, Don King had done a deal with Nigel Ben. Don King walks in with a champion, walks out with a champion. Let's do the other WBA title, and then okay. you got two, and Roy has one. Okay. And then we go for Roy. Tonight, McClellan remains unconscious in hospital on a diet of painkillers and good wishes. I'm always worried about anyone that gets injured. We want to find out what the injury, injury is. We can't be white. You're a nigger till you die. If you're a poor nigger, you're a poor nigger. If you're a rich nigger, you're a rich nigger. No, 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 no. Let me get off. Let me get off my hand. I ain't doing it, you scumbag. You. But after I asked Don King my first question, he exploded in anger. I a scumbag like you, Jack Newfield, that is prejudiced. You don't have no right to do what you do. You're not fair, I'm impartial and objective. Do your thing. I was taken aback by the intensity of his rage and by his attempt to intimidate me. You ain't got nothing in you that spells truth. You're the biggest American and lying fight SOB that ever was, man. You are nothing. You are nothing. Can I get the hot guy? In a brilliant stroke of salesmanship, King convinced the government of Zaire to put up $10 million to finance the fight, even though the country was mired in poverty. The event made Don King. But even in his triumph, King betrayed another one of the men who had helped get him his start and who had been his loyal friend. He cheated Price out of his share of the partnership. Staggerly started off. I know that I should have a piece of the business because Don told me I should have a piece of the business. In fact, we should be 50-50 partners. To this day, and that was in 1974, I haven't got paid. Even though I was locked into a letter of credit. Six years later, King would betray the last of the men who helped give him his start. After Muhammad Ali had suffered a brutal beating in his last championship fight, King shortchanged him out of a million dollars. Ali sued to get his fair share of the purse. During the 1980s, a dozen fighters never reached their full potential under Don King. Tim Witherspoon is one of this group known as the lost generation of heavyweights. 
Don King had the connections to move with a spoon into the big time. King scheduled a fight in Cleveland in 1982. But Witherspoon got ill with an ear infection and on the advice of his doctor, tried to postpone the fight. King asked the Cleveland Boxing Commission to suspend Witherspoon's license. If Witherspoon would sign a long-term contract, King said, the suspension would be lifted. He said, the commission is me. He said, I'm the commission, them guys ain't nothing. He said, Real? He said it's me. I said, uh, he said, well, the only way to get lifted up if you sign this, sign this deal with me. And I said, well, I'm not signing that. And I went home, and like I said, the money was like, I was pulling uh, moth balls out my pocket. Man. Ortiz is in trouble. My dad has figured out he can't miss with the right hand, and he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in big trouble, and he goes down. Oh, it looks like Ortiz doesn't I think he was waving his hands like he didn't want to continue. And I think stop the it. left ass went in up to yep. it. Let's stop it. Yep. They're going to stop it because of that cut. I don't know. We'll see what happens from here on out, man. Um, I'm young, but I don't think I deserve to be, you know, getting beat up like this. So I have a lot of thinking to do. your next real fight to be with. Haven't I been having real ones? Who asked the question? Are you over there? After watching you spar today, it seems that you plan a vastly increased use of your right hand. Is this true? I'm planning on using both of them. <clears throat> both of them? Right. Sonny was uncomfortable dealing with the press. Uh, so he'd usually answer a question with uh, one word or maybe just a angry stare. That's all I know is a few words, and I've said them all. The Sonny Liston stare it became known as. He was suspicious of everyone. He didn't like reporters or the media um, or maybe even the public. Image to the mainstream, to the American mainstream, is, is defined by essentially a white media. The white press had never encountered uh, person like Liston. Liston was not used to or did not feel comfortable with dealing with them, didn't trust them, because his experience with white people is that generally they're not out to do me any good. It was not uncommon to read a newspaper story in which Liston was referred to as a latter-day caveman, a quote jungle beast, unquote, and quote a gorilla. I mean it was that blatant. And as Tyson grew, that power became stoked by a growing anger as he became aware of the bigotry focused on his gypsy clan by mainstream society. Travelers have been persecuted for thousands of years. And even me now as the heavyweight champion, no matter what I achieve and, and who I beat or what country I represent, deep down I'll always ever be a dirty gypo. Because every country a traveler goes to, they're hated. They're the most hated race of people on earth. Are you sure that I'm ready to drive this car around? The settle right here beside you when you're gonna be fine. All you gotta do is keep it between the lines. This idiot is getting knocked back out. I'm sick to death of this. This motherfucker is going to sleep. 
I believe woman's best place is in the kitchen and on the back. <laughs> that's, that's just my personal beliefs. There's only three things that need to be accomplished before the devil comes home. Mm. One of them's homosexuality being legal in countries, one of them's abortion, the other one's paedophilia. Who would have thought in the 50s and early 60s that those first two would be legalised? Then with you is moment I treasure Forever and ever and I, I don't want to close my eyes Welcome to fire, your defence is terrified Um, but yeah, I'm the future of this industry, and um, I draw ratings. People, people want to see me. I break records. I'm dead. People want to see me. I think Box Nation needs to start showing me a bit more, because I am the future of this industry. But, 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 but would you admit that most people tune in to watch you get beat? Yeah, but... But they're still tuning in? No one, no one goes, Barry Jones. Let's, let's talk about Barry, he's, he's an incredible fighter, he's a forgotten champion. But, but he's in the record books, he won he, the same he, title he won, that Oscar De La Hoya won. He <sighs> won it and he won it on pay-per-view. And, and he couldn't keep it, that's the key thing to well, see. he came up against a couple of things, it. he came up against a great fighter in the Brazilian, Asselino Freitas. I mean, I don't know if you've and, done any research on Freitas, he's one of the best, one of the best featherweights from the, super feather and feathers and lightweights from the last 30 years. But no one, we're on about Barry, no one remembers him though. Well, I think you're wrong about that. But listen, that's neither here nor there. And everyone's entitled to an opinion. Yeah. I, I think, and people uh, listen to Prince Patel's opinion. Well, certainly... Ratings the, don't lie. Certainly, which is a terrific soundbite. And, 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 and I agree. And people have been tweeting all day. And half of the people uh, are quite unpleasant about you. And the other half are even more unpleasant about you. But, but the bottom line is, Prince, they are talking about you. I'll give you that. To be honest... Easy for him, as you see, it was so easy he could put his feet up. He could have got a pillow out, but no, so that road probably got back up and he enjoyed himself. A little bit of shoreboarding, <laughs> a little wiggle. He's, uh, he's got some of the moves. Pantera. Como lo dice sobrenombre La Roca. Imponente se ve el sudamericano y ve a Zaguilar haciendo lo suyo. Ahí, ahí le falló el pasito, ¿eh? Cuidado. Cuando está ahí en el terreno corto, suelta golpes hasta algunos ilegales, pero es la manera que pelea. Mira, otra vez bajando las manos y yo no haría eso, ¿eh? Yo no haría eso con la roca porque vienen las perras. Separado porque el colombiano ya lo vimos, se mira peligroso. Uh, pero, a la lana, a The pay-per-view has been pretty good for Manny Pacquiao fights lately, Floyd. They, they, they still haven't topped what I've done in two fights. Well, one was with Oscar De La Hoya, who was the uh, cash king. Hey, 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 uh, I'm the cash cow, please. Okay. Once again, like Floyd. I said before, once again, we're talking to Brian Kinney, a, a, a man of many traits, a master of nothing. Nature. Did Pacquiao been knocked, have he been knocked out twice? Yeah, a de like a decade answer ago. Answer the question. A decade ago. And just ask, I, ain't, I, don't, I don't care if it's was 100 years ago. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Have Pacquiao been outboxed by Eric Morales. What one fight he lost to him? Answer yeah. the question. Yes, he did. Has he been outboxed by Eric Morales? Yes. That's all I need to know. So why and would you fight him? Ask when we do come back, uh, we will we will kick Pucci our ass. Oh man, don't tell me he's riding Pacquiao, dick. Three losses, two draws. Oh hell no. This America, baby, we built on winning. Step your game up, faggot. Talking to Pacquiao, but you know that motherfucker Pacquiao can't speak no English. He never seen the contract he didn't like. Everybody else, I want everybody to look at this motherfucker signed to two companies. And then this motherfucker with Nike only got 70 G's. 
How stupid can a motherfucker be? You know, Reebok gave me a million dollars for three weeks. I wore Reebok shit for three weeks for a million dollars. Now, now once I kick the midget ass, once I kick the midget ass, I don't want y'all to jump on my dick. So y'all better jump on, y'all better get on the bandwagon right now. Because once I kick the midget ass, I don't want y'all to jump on my dick. And say, oh shit, boy, we knew you was going to do it. Because once I stomp the midget, I'm going to make that motherfucker cook, uh, make me a, a sushi roll and cook me some rice. You know, no, he better stay in his bracket. All that motherfucker can do is make me a sushi roll. He, made, he better make me a, a shrimp tempura cut roll, a shrimp tempura cut roll, some motherfucker, take me to the, uh, what, what's, what's the, uh, the little room we got, the tempiyaki room. I'm going to take that motherfucker to the tempiyaki room and chop his ass up with some rice. You know how it is, baby, going to cook that motherfucker with some cats and dogs. I'm going up in weight, but I ain't just walking through no damn fighters. Mm -hmm. I ain't just walking, I'm what, this 106 now he decided to just walking through Kodo. Come on, man. And Kodo, and Kodo, everybody else, Kodo hit, he getting up out of Kodo can't knock down Moldy, but he can. You know what I'm saying? My health is important. My health is more important than money. Defend yourself at all times. Ortiz was apologizing. And Mayweather was punchy. This isn't gonna win him any more fans, but it was legal. So I'm gonna let you talk to Victor Ortiz, all right? I'm through. They put somebody else up and give me an interview. What talk are to you Victor talking Ortiz. about? What you, are you, you talking heard about? him. You never give me a fair shake. HBO needs to fire you. You don't know shit about boxing. You ain't shit. You're, you got shit. I wish I was 50 years younger you and I'd kick your ass. You won't do shit. You won't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Polly, come on in. Don't push it, dog. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hey, stop, stop. I'm just saying, you lost. I know, I know, I lost. But, but don't, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Don't brag so, about so taking my side piece. Go. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. I'm gonna you don't get laid. No brush. Is, oh, no, there it is. You know, hey, you know I can't start no interview without getting my hair brushed. Really, nigga? That's the ritual. But in doing that, he's gonna have to get active. Oh, wow. This record, 13 wins, all wins coming by way of knockout. A national champion and a Latino American champion, an international champion for CMB. Del Ciudad de Mexico and Mexico, please welcome Jorge Kawagi. Acquired it all. Yeah, he has not fought for 10 years. Oh, oh no. Left. Oh, no. A short left. Okay? Short left. Nacho Beristain said Kawagi is a fraud. Ah, one second, talk. El boy at the water, boy. Ito na, chulit chulit na. In the crowd. But believe it or not, he's he's a uh, he he throws punches in slow motion. Okay, you're not talking awkward, yeah, no? Awkward, yeah. But he's a lawyer. He's a law graduate. Law graduate. Stop! Stop! The Navy lads. Let's, let's uh, set the record straight. This fight was requested by uh, Fernando Beltran of Zanfa Promotion. This guy, Kawagi, has political ambitions. Oh, very much political, no? So this... Uh, the, this fight which is being beamed to Mexico should probably, probably help him a little in his political cam campaign if you don't know your boxing. Alright? Good. You're the boss now, Jim. Give me a, give me a, give me a drink now that I mix. One that I mix, lose it quick. Mix it. Awesome, awesome. Uh, you're the boss now. Roll! Whatever he was mixing, that battle uh, gave Pryor more energy.
that's the only way he can fight this guy. He's relentless. Keeps up that pace. So he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. His eye is cut, Vicky. Oh, God. His eye is cut. I, it's under his eye. Yeah. On his cheek. Look at him. Oh, that hurt him. He got yeah, hit yeah, really yes. bad that time. Yes, there's a tremendous exchange there. And you say, look at that. I bet they get up and give him a big hand to home tall place. Man, a lot of excitement here. You can see it right here. It's like it's like the old days. You can't move. Hold the mixer. Hold the pen. 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 series of them in recent years. Those little margarito short shots on the inside now, Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. That's and Soto it. goes to a knee. Succumbing to the pressure, yeah. much the way Zab Tuta succumbed to the pressure against him last year. And that knockdown could ultimately be the difference in the fight. When I checked the pad and it felt hard, the commissioner flipped it open and a block fell out of it. We checked the other hand, it was a block there too. I thought I blew the fight. Cause I felt like they were taking him to jail. I thought that was the attempted assault. I thought he was going to the joint. Though Margarito's boxing license would eventually be suspended, officials decided to let the fight that night go on as scheduled. I believe that Shane's gonna still have to win. Another Margarito was too. stunned by the right hand. Margarito has not thrown since Shane landed that combination. Mosley has Margarito in trouble on the ropes. Staggers him with that right hand. Good left hook by Mosley. That was a knockdown. He went into the road. And there's the knockdown. Oh. And Margarito looks like a beaten man. Wobbling oh, on his yeah. feet. Let's see if Raul Keyes is going to let him fight. Margarito is getting hit flush with every right hand. There's another one. There's a big left hook. Why not stop it now? And there's the right top from the corner. And Shane Mosley has annihilated Antonio Margarito. Mira, yo te gané bien. Por eso no está roto ahí. El Mira los vendajes. El vendaje es simplemente gasa. Mira los vendajes cuando se lo llevaron. El vendaje es simplemente gasa. No hay nada. La gasa no va a haber nada. Simplemente soy limpio. Ok, aquí están los vendajes. Ok, ¿dónde está? No está roto. El, ¿Dónde está roto? Ok. El rojo. Sí. Lo, Tú estás diciendo lo roto. Lo roto. Okay. Lo repararon. No. El, ¿Cómo el van a blanco, reparar? No. El blanco. El blanco jamás va por encima del rojo. Lo que sea. Lo que sea, necesitas fuerza para vencer. Si sí, la tengo. Uh -huh. Entonces. ¿Cuál es el problema? Ninguno. Entonces, Simple, entonces. Simplemente. ¿qué ¿Estás alegando entonces? No, estoy alegando lo que es la fuerza. Por eso. Uh -huh. Te gané. Sí. Y eso yo fue, lo y voy a volver y, a hacer. Y, he cargado, y así tú me vendes, quien me vende, te vuelvo a ganar. Uh -huh. ¿Tú crees? Y, y sea, así es. Uh -huh. Así yo creo. Uh -huh. Así, así como lo oye yo creo. Quedan 10 semanas para demostrarlo. Exactamente, entonces demuestra ahí para qué estás no, hablando. Así, así será, ahí. así será. Entonces, así será. Entonces, demuéstrala ahí, no hables. Así va a ser. Espero verlo uh -huh. y sentirlo. Jamás. Uh -huh. The mild upset, a unanimous decision victory. Oh, look at this. Butler. Whoa! Look at this. Butler just ran Butler. across the ring. Butler just went over there and sucker punched. Sucker punched and knocked out Grant. 
Oh boy. Terrible. And, new and the new commissioner, Ray Kelly, will do something very, very enforceful here. You want to talk about Zab Judah and his antics losing some money in a suspension. James Butler should never be allowed in the ring again. Absolutely never. That's assault. That is assault. He should be arrested on the spot. He should be arrested right on the spot. That is assault and battery. This will be the first test for the new commissioner, Ray Kelly, and I know that he will handle this the right way. What a punk. James Butler. Now they're going to escort Butler out of here. And they got him. The police are right there. They're going to escort him out. Ray Kelly, the commissioner, is right behind him. He is being taken out, and he should be thrown in a paddy wagon right now. Now, 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 One free drink, now, 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 now,